Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful day. It's bright, it's sunny, the weather is right, and I am back for another review. So I know that this review is incredibly late, but I still wanted to do it anyway. It took me some time to really be able to test almost all of these products. So today I'm going to be talking about none other than Honey's Handmade. This is the Melba's Kitchen Edition 3 collection. If you're not familiar with the Melba's Kitchen Edition boxes, these are basically like anniversary launches for Honey's Handmade in celebration of Valencia's mother, Miss Melba. And so all of the products are inspired by Miss Melba and the things that she used to cook and the things that she used to create. And so it was pretty much like a tribute piece to her mom in the form of hair products. These come with 10 products in each box. Um, usually there's like a bonus item in each box. And this is my second time purchasing the Melba's Edition um, collection. My first time I purchased Edition 2, um, and I do have a review on that. You guys can click the iCard in the sky if you would like to check that out. But today we're going to be reviewing edition three. It's the latest edition. Now this is currently sold out, I believe, but I figured I might as well put up the review anyway because she always kind of brings them back. She'll bring it back separately. She'll, you know, sell products that do very well in the box. So I figured I might as well go ahead and do the review, throw my two cents in and all that good stuff. So if you're interested in checking out my thoughts, and seeing some of my experiences with the Melba's Kitchen Edition 3, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first things first, because I know I'm gonna get comments um, in the comment section. I know there have been a lot of complaints about Honey's Handmade Shipping and just things going on with the company as a whole. And I'm just here to say, because sometimes people come at me left about brands that I review. I don't work for these people, y'all. I'm not on their payroll. Um, I, I don't work for their customer service team. So I can reach out when I notice things that happen on my end, but I'm not knee deep with these people like that, okay? <laughs> so I cannot answer customer service questions for you. I am not the person you need to be going to to find out what's going on with your order. I don't know why people do that. Um, I have never been sponsored by Honey's Handmade. I have never mentioned working with the brand, um, anything like that. So I can't, I can't speak to that. I know that there has been a lot of issues with the company because Valencia has been very sick. Um, and I only know that aside from her coming out and saying that she's been very sick over the last couple of months recently, I knew all of this before because I had just happened to talk to her. Um, about one of the products in this box and she had explained that she's been very sick. She hasn't been in the office. I don't think she's really been running anything, y'all. Um, I think she's trying to be there and it kind of seems like an issue of everyone else is struggling without having her direction there. And that's something that they're going to have to work out internally and I hope that they figure it out because if people aren't getting their stuff, they're not getting all their products in their boxes and et cetera, they're gonna lose business, unfortunately. Um, and I would hate to see that for them. Obviously, it's a difficult time for them. I just think just be more transparent and just say what's happening up front. Maybe not have as many sales and random product launches um, just to give yourself leeway if that is the issue. But if it's a different issue, then they're going to have to work that out. I can't tell you what the problem is because I don't work for them. Honey's Handmade doesn't sign my checks. So <laughs> now that I have that out of the way, because I know it's going to be down in the comments. Let's go ahead and get into Melba's Kitchen Edition 3. So I'm going to have side-by-side -side or cutaway or whatever clips of me using the majority of these products. First things first is the Melba's Jungle Punch Juicy Pre-Poo Condish Serum. This is supposed to detangle, condition, tame frizz, and strengthen naturally. So that's what this looks like. So this is supposed to be a pre-poo. Now, you guys know, I think automatically you guys know that I'm not going to enjoy this because I don't like using oils as pre-poos. For me, pre-pooing is about loosening up those tangles and making sure that I can't actually maneuver through my hair during the wash day process. I don't pre-poo every time I shampoo my hair. Um, and so for me, 
doing a like a serum and oil serum type of pre-poo situation doesn't really do much for me like it really doesn't <laughs> um let's see the ingredients include argan olive raspberry leaf laurel berry beetroot burdock root polysorbate 20 and sweet plantain which i love and it says to use the hair oil for a lightweight shine simply apply a dime size amount onto dry strands and stay away from your roots focusing on applying the hair oil to ends of your hair instead so that was what kind of got me with this because i'm like it's instructing you to use it as a finishing serum you know what i'm saying but it says that it's a pre-poo you know but it's instructing you to use it for shine and you know things of that nature so i'm just going to add a little bit on camera right now but you guys will see the side by side of me using this as a pre-poo because I just decided to go ahead and do it anyway. It smells good. It has like a fruity scent to it and it feels really nice on the hair. I prefer to use this as um, a shine serum. It went through my hair fine um, from using it as a pre-poo, but obviously like you're putting straight up oil on your hair. I could see using this as like a hot oil treatment. I don't really do hot oil treatment. So um, that that's one thing that I do like maybe once in a blue moon um, every now and then. Like if my scalp is crazy itchy and crazy dry. I find that it does actually help with that. Um, but I'm not one for just leaving oil on my scalp or anything like that. So it would have to be in a situation where I would rinse it out. So I applied it to my hair. This doesn't detangle um it does help to tame frizz if you're using it as like a serum um i don't know about the strengthening properties i would say that you would probably have to use it as a like a hot oil treatment situation um regularly to kind of see if there's any type of benefit in that nature but all in all it's an oil um if you like to pre-poo with oils then i'm sure that you will love this i don't so it's not crazy for me i really like using this as a finishing serum and so that's what I will continue to use it to use it for. It has great ingredients. It's not a bad oil. I just think it's bad marketing. And then next up, this is one of my top products from this line. And I will admit, guys, I have a few shampoo bars in my collection. And I don't use them. It's it's nothing against them. They're not bad. They're amazing. I just don't reach for shampoo bars. Um, I feel like I focus so much on trying to finish more of my liquid cleansers that I forget about my shampoo bars. Um, and this is the Melba's Honey Glaze Poo Bar Lather Hand Poured Poo Bar. I love Honey's handmade um, shampoo bars. She makes really beautiful shampoo bars. Um, and I really like the beer one from last year, but I think I like this better. This contains sorbitol, sodium cocoate, propylene glycol, sodium stearate, water, Glycerin extract, cherry kernel, pineapple extract, um, and then of course a little bit of fragrance. This is obviously like a soap, so it's going to have soap ingredients. It smells really nice. It has an uh, like a perfumed honey kind of scent. So you just pop it out of the package and there she is. I absolutely loved applying this to my hair. Hey Ellie, come here mama. <laughs> Sweet she was just sitting there looking at me like so you just gonna talk to them and not pay attention to me <laughs> hey bb so what was i saying the application of this was divine um obviously you just apply it to wet hair and you just kind of rub it in rub it across the strands and then i work that lather through my hair it felt amazing on the scalp it really just glided through my hair like butter like i was low-key detangling while shampooing because this was so effective. I love the smell of it. It made my strands feel so good. I love honey and shampoos. Like that is, y'all, that is one of my vices is shampoo that contains honey. I don't know what it is, but it just makes the hair feel so soft. And honey is a humectant, so honey is going to draw in that extra moisture. I just love it. This right here is one of the star products for me. This shampoo bar, I really need to um, focus on using up my shampoo bars. And I think 
I'm going to try to put this into my rotation with my other cleansers because I've actually been doing a really good job of using up my cleansers. A lot of my cleansers are like really close to being on their way out. They won't be in this coming empties because we have an empties video coming up because it's almost end of the season. Um, but they will definitely be in the next one. Um, so I, y'all, this was so good. The lather was beautiful. The smell is divine. Um, it just smells like being in a field of honeysuckles. I love it. Um, it got my hair very clean, but my hair didn't feel, it was slightly squeaky, but it wasn't like, it didn't feel hay-like. It didn't feel like my, my strands was going to snap. Like it just felt perfectly cleansed. It had a little bit of extra nourishment and it was totally ready for everything that I was about to put on it. And it just felt so good. So this right here, if she made this a permanent product, I would totally, you know, marry myself to using up my shampoo bars just so I could buy this again because it's that good. So next up, let's talk about the deep conditioners. And the first one we're going to talk about is the Melba Sea Kelp and Seaweed Clarifying Hair Mask. So there is a little bit of story behind this hair mask because this did not come out the way that it was initially intended. So um, not too long after I had gotten the box, you know, I had opened everything, I had looked at it um, and I was like, oh, okay. This is the one that I originally got. And I know in a lot of people's videos, they said that they really didn't like this because of the texture. And I would say maybe like a week after I got the box, I saw a random shipment for this deep conditioner free of charge. And I was really confused. And I was like, I wonder if this is like a mistake, like if they're accidentally sending stuff out. I was like, I don't know. So... I DM'd them and it happened to be one of those times where Valencia was like on there kind of handling things. And she basically told me that she's been very sick. She wasn't in the office to oversee all of this being made. She formulated everything, but she wasn't there during the production of everything. And that this is not what she had intended for it to be. So this was the first one that I got. And basically what she said was she wanted it to look like ocean water like she kind of wanted it to look like the sand and the sea but there was an ingredient missing from this and it even kind of smells a little bit oceanic like it smells like clay it smells like the sea but it's it's totally not something that you could easily put into your hair it's incredibly runny if you see that now when I had mentioned this in my haul I don't think people really listened um what to what I said and that was that she still intended for this product to be runny she intended for this product to be looser that does not surprise me because if you have been using honey's handmade for any amount of time you know that she does do a lot of thinner deep conditioners and the thing that I love is that she makes thinner products but they work they work really well so this is the one that replaced that this is what it should look like it has a different color it's a little bit thicker but it is still thin it is still more of a runny formulation but y'all it literally it smells like the beach I, I love the way this smells this is one of those products that it's like it smells like exactly what it says that it is um it says to gently massage conditioner into hair and scalp Leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse thoroughly. Apply a gentle heat for best results. And that is what I did. I did this on one side of my head and then I did the other deep conditioner in the box on the other side of my head. This contains distilled water, BTMS, organic sea kelp, seaweed, unfiltered organic apple cider, mango butter, kupuasu, silk amino acids, provitamin B5, calendula, chamomile, ginseng, there's oat extract, lemon peel, aloe vera, vitamin A, E, glycerin, and panthenol. Um, I really enjoyed this. This is definitely like, I, it reminds me a lot of the, um, the other clay one, the bentonite and sea clay, I think. It reminds me a lot of that, um, and the way that it plumps up the curls and really kind of gives them that shine. It really gives the curls that bounce. 
this has really great ingredients and my hair really just drank this up like it really drank this conditioner up so this was a really great experience applying it to the hair and it looked even better when I rinsed it out it was very shiny it was very bouncy just healthy hydrated curls and then on the other side of my head I use the okra and onion seed slippery elm hair mask um, and the ingredients in this contain water, BTMS, okra powder, onion seed oil, black garlic, shea butter, marula, Jamaican black castor oil, cocum, glycerin, phenoxyethanol, and phthalate free fragrance. And it says to part hair into sections, apply to wet or damp hair, making sure to work through from roots to tips. Let set for a minimum of 15 minutes, rinse with lukewarm water and style as desired. So this one, I would say has almost the same consistency. It's a little bit more emollient to me than the um, sea kelp and seaweed clarifying hair mask. This does not smell like onions, so don't be alarmed. <laughs> um, it doesn't smell like onion and it doesn't smell like garlic. It has a very neutral, fresh kind of fragrance to it. This also applied to the hair very well. I found that it didn't quite have as much slip as the um, clarifying hair mask. It went in really well. It still had a little bit of extra emollients. It still gave really nice shine, really nice softness. But if I had to pick one, I would totally pick this one. Even though I feel like the name, like, I, I don't know how you have a clarifying hair mask. Like I, I get where she was trying to go with it, but this, um, it doesn't have any clays or anything like that. So I could see if this was like a clay product, but it's not a clay product. Um, and maybe having that apple cider in there is where that's coming from. But to me, this is a beautiful balancing conditioner that adds shine, bounce, and extra hydration to the curls. This is a really nice moisturizing conditioner. It's just a really nice moisturizing conditioner. If I had to pick one or the other, I would totally pick this one. I love the way it feels. I love the way it smells. The application was bomb. This, again, the application was nice. It was really, really good. There's nothing bad about it, but it's just like just another conditioner to me, whereas this one really stands out. This one is definitely up there for me with my Bentonite and C-Clay. This is something that if she um, relaunched this product, I would totally buy another one of because I like the way my hair feels with this. Um, when she does relaunch this, because I'm sure at some point she'll make these products available again. Um, if you really like the Bentonite and C-Clay, I would say this is one to try. This is a really nice product. It makes the hair feel amazing. It just makes it so shiny. I might use this tonight because I need to wash my hair. I might use this tonight. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the styling. And while we're talking about that, I will say that there is one product that I did not use in this, and that is the Peach Cobbler High Def Twisting Butter. Um, this contains water, carnauba wax, peach extract, yogurt powder, olive fruit, silk amino acids, glycerin, almond butter, jojoba, uh, shea oleine, sea buckthorn, phenoxyethanol, and fragrance. The reason I didn't do anything with this is because I have so many creams that are open that I'm struggling to use up because I don't use creams that often. And I was like, why open this? Even for the sake of a review, I was like, I might as well wait. I'm really considering doing like a twist out series when it gets cold or just like an out series in general where I do different styles, twist outs, bantu knot, knot outs, braid outs, um, testing different products. If you guys will like that in the upcoming colder season, let me know and I will do that. There's no point in me doing a wash and go series because I do wash and goes all the time, but I could totally do that for you guys because I really need to use these creams. Like I need to use them up but I don't do a lot of twist outs, braid outs and things like that. And it's counterproductive, you know what I mean? So that's why I didn't open this and use it. I'm going to save it for a rainy day and keep it up in there sealed so it won't go bad. The products that I did use, the first one, which I believe was the bonus product in the box, is the Melba's Leave-In Hair Shake. It says to apply to wet or damp hair after cleansing, spray the strands until completely saturated and follow up with your favorite style technique. The ingredients in this are distilled water, BTMS, sunflower wax, beta carotene, 
uh, cereal alcohol beta carotene is in here again i don't know if that's a misprint passion fruit coconut milk powder corn oil uh perilla oil optifin and fragrance and i really really like this and i wish it was in a bigger bottle because i'm like right here on it and first of all it smells divine yeah it smells like it kind of smells like, have y'all ever had Pink Petal Tea Cake, the candle from Bath and Body Works? This kind of smells like Pink Petal Tea Cake. Just a little bit more fruity. I really like the texture of this, even though it is a spray. It is like a cream texture. If you can see, so that is how it comes out. It sinks into the strands so beautifully. Don't let that wax ingredient scare you even though there is a wax in here it was very lightweight the slip on this was really nice it added a beautiful shine to my hair it made it so touchably soft it felt so good in the hair and so I absolutely 100% love this and I would love her to come out with a bigger bottle of this this is four ounces which is why I say it's probably like I think this was the extra addition in the box but it's so good. It has great slip. It provides beautiful moisture. Like you only need this in your hair. Um, you don't need to add an extra cream, extra butter, and extra oil. Like this is everything that you need all in one to help maintain moisture in your hair. And had it not been for the fact that I didn't like the way the overall wash and go had turned out, this would have given me several days of moisture. So the leave-in hair shake is another top product in the box for me i was incredibly impressed by this even though i had no expectations it felt so good going into my hair um so i absolutely love this and the other um moisturizer that i used from them is the melba's pound cake curl creme hair smoothie it smells so good it does have like a vanilla cake smell oh, so nice it is a thinner cream it's not super duper thick which i don't mind personally um it reminds me honestly a lot of the texture of a lot of my favorite she scented creams it's very easy to use on my my hair type it says to part hair into sections, apply to wet or damp hair, making sure to work through from roots to tips, style with wash and go or twist out, braid out, and or use the same frizz coat your, um, and coat your strands. Apply more as desired. No need to rinse out. And then the ingredients are distilled water, East African shea, babasu, red palm, buriti fruit, honey, buttermilk, Madagascar vanilla, takuma, and phenoxyethanol. This is a beautiful moisturizer that I can that I can see myself using for so many different purposes. I use this alone basically as a leave-in product underneath the gel that is in this um, box. And it is so incredibly moisturizing and hydrating and softening. It adds a little bit of extra hold, but not much at all. Um, I think that this is going to be great to use the same way that I use the moisturizer in the kit from last year. Um, but also to use um, to do braid outs when my hair is like, you guys know I like to do braid outs on dirty hair. So if I have a wash and go that didn't last as long as I thought it would for whatever reason, I'll take a cream like this, add it to my hair, braid it up, and it gives the most beautiful, shiny, defined braid outs, twist outs, what have you. I did do a clip of me applying this product and I have a clip of this product and the gel from this collection, um, but my hair was incredibly messed up because I left it in a bun for like 16 hours <laughs> and it just stretched it out to no end. It was, it was, it still looked good though, but it wasn't like wearable, you know what I mean? So I had to go ahead and do something else with it. I think I ended up putting it in a puff or a bun or something, but the hydration and the moisture in this is just beyond belief. It's so nice. Um, this is something that I'm going to put on my desk to make myself use more often because I feel like this really does well. I want to see what other things it mixes with. I want to see how this mixes with my Coconut Apple Curl Glaze from um, Edition 2 because y'all know I love me some of that. 
Um, so yeah, the Melba's Plum Cake Curl Cream Hair Smoothie. It was a really nice cream. Definitely more of a moisturizer, um, but I feel like I can use this as well with my braid outs on dirty hair situation. And I feel like that works no matter whether a product has hold because I already have holding product in my hair, if that makes sense. I do that with tons of things. I do it with leave-ins, I do it with creams, I do it with, I don't do it with gels because that's just a flaky mess, but all those types of creamy products, I'll do that with that. Okay, let's get into the product that I was the most excited about. Um, the one that I was anticipating the most out of all of these. And I, I don't know y'all, I, okay, so I got somewhere to go, so hopefully I can get through this real quick. So I use this twice. I use this with the milkshake leave-in and also over top of the hair cream. Um, this product, it has aloe leaf juice, lemon butter, lemon essential oil, carbamer, organic witch hazel, glycerin, grapeseed, hydrolyzed wheat protein. It does have triethanolamine in it. I don't care if y'all do, it's cool. Um, tetrasodium, glutamate, diacetate, and phenoxyethanol. Um, it says to part hair into ringlets, apply to wet or damp or even dry hair. Make sure to work through from roots to tips. So this is the thing. When I initially applied it, I was like, wow, like it made my hair so shiny. It weighed it down a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. It, you know, plopped right back up. I think that the difficulty that I'm having with this product is the amount of um, citrus that is in here. There's lemon butter and lemon essential oil very high up in here, even before you get to the holding ingredients in this product. And the first time I applied this, Things were good until I got to the more dense part in my crown. That's where I have, my, my strands aren't really fine in my crown. They're really fine everywhere out everywhere else, but they're thicker in my crown. And my crown in general is just more dense than the rest of my head. Um, and it really started to make them clump to the point where it felt like it was matting um, and not just clumping my curls, which you guys know is something that I try to avoid when it comes to my hair. And so no matter how much water I was adding, <laughs> I was adding really warm water. It just, it wasn't helping it. And so I felt like it dried with kind of odd frizz. Like it looked good, but the frizz in it was strange. And I didn't like the application. The application of this was better with the um, cream, the hair smoothie. It was better, I feel like maybe because there were extra emollients in this. And I didn't apply like a crap ton of this either. Um, it, the, the application was way better with this and the cream than it was with this and the leave-in. And I think that's only because there were those extra emollients to help it spread. But I don't really know, I, I can't really say that I like it. Like I really wanted to like it because it has a really nice texture. It reminds me a lot of my coconut and apple curl glaze, but it kind of pales in comparison to the results that I get with my coconut and apple curl glaze. It has the same kind of shine, but as far as the application goes, it wasn't very nice. So right now it's not my favorite, but I will use it up. <laughs> I mean, I'm almost halfway through it already. I will use it up and I will tell you guys how I feel about it in the end, because if I end up liking it, then I'll repurchase it. But right now it doesn't feel like a repurchase. All right, let's get to these last two products. So the first one I have, this is actually in my hair. I used it to refresh my puff today. Um, this is a Nature's Little Secret wash and go. It's not a Melba's Kitchen wash and go, um, but I did use this on this wash and go. It's the Aloe Water Splash Refreshing Coil Water to Hydrate, Condition, Refresh, and Balance. Um, and this has distilled water, aloe juice, aloe oil, ginger extract, lemongrass, glycerin, castor oil, hydrolyzed wheat protein, silk protein, sunflower seed extract, and phenoxyethanol. And I really like this. I really liked the refresher spray that was in the last one too. I love the smell of this. It has like a gardenia scent, but it's a basic, you know, curl refresher. I like that she puts like a full wash day restyle situation in the boxes. Um, it's really, really nice. It doesn't do anything special. It's a refresher, but it feels really, really good. So I just use my refreshers as I spray them on. I let them dry and then I go in and I fluff and, you know, touch my hair. I don't touch it while it's drying. Um, this feels really good. 
it really reactivated the gel on my hair and I found that it left my coils a little bit shinier than they were when I started. So this is really nice. Really enjoyed it. I would actually repurchase this, but I really don't have to because I have so many curl refreshers in my collection, but I would repurchase this. And then last but not least is the Melba's 15 Day Pure Biotin Hair Growth Boost. Um, this is a pure biotin supplement. I finished it off so I could tell you guys what I thought and it definitely boosted my routine. I used it in my regular routine and it was nice. Um, it didn't break me out. It didn't cause any adverse reactions. It was just a biotin supplement. And it was good. I mean, if she came back out with it, I personally wouldn't buy it because to me, there's no point in buying like a 15 day boost. I feel like the other products that I use are good enough. You know, <laughs> um, I don't feel like I need that, but it was cool to have. It was a nice addition to the box. So overall, I felt like the box in general, it just didn't have the same pizzazz as last year's. And I don't know, maybe it's because I just loved that box so much, but I feel like the products were good, but they weren't like panty dropper worthy. You know what I mean? I really loved the sea kelp and seaweed clarifying mask, the curl cream, the leave-in, the poo bar, and I will say that I did really enjoy the refreshing coil water. But I think I was just overall, it's not that the box was bad. I was just really disappointed that the overall styler didn't go the way that I hoped that it would. Like I said, I'm going to continue to use it and see if I can get better results. See if maybe there are other Honey's handmade products that it works better with. I'm definitely going to try it with the coconut water leave-in condition and see how that goes. Um, so I think this was the biggest disappointment for me because it just, it kind of matted up my hair the first time I used it. Um, it's not a bad product, but I feel like it's just too much citrus in this product. For a styling product, I think it's just too much citrus. So I don't know. I do really like most of the products in the box, but it just didn't have the same pizzazz. It didn't, the excitement wasn't the same as it was last year. And I know that's likely because of everything that's been going on with Miss Valencia. I hope she does get better soon. Um... I've been praying for her um, and just sending her, you know, messages of encouragement over the last like couple of months. So yeah, let me know what you thought of your Melba's Kitchen Box. I'm really curious to see how you liked it. I feel like all the products are good, except for this one. <laughs> um, but it just wasn't, like it didn't have flair, you know, it didn't have any panache, you know what I'm saying? So it, that's just, just, just kind of how it felt. It almost kind of felt like it was a little bit rush like they put it out because they knew they had to put it out but you could tell I just feel like I could feel that Valencia wasn't there mixing everything up if that makes sense and maybe that's where the lack of panache comes from so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm gonna go to a track meet and go support my brother I love you guys and I will see y'all in the next one